Hey everyone, I'm Cindy Conte for Ring TV and Mr. Buddy McGirt. I haven't seen you in a minute. I mean, I've interviewed you because you trained Alvina White. Yeah. And yes. uh, but that was the last time. But you had really fun glasses. Right. They, they actually not to wear them today. They told me they wanted me to look important today, so I left my glasses. You look important with those sunglasses. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna talk to the people who told you about your dress code. I'm okay. very upset. I uh, no, no problem. I was upset about it too. I had them. They said, "Buddy, no, just wear your regular glasses." I said, "All right." So whatever. But next time you see me with them. Okay. Um, next time. All right, Mr. Buddy McGirt. I have to congratulate you, the man behind you, Sergey Kovalev. You have shipped. Uh, shape that boy up, <laughs> got him to love boxing, you got him, you made him fall in love with the sport again because he was, he was on a different path at that moment and coming from you, you see it in his style, you see it in his wins, why did you decide to take him on under your wing? He came to me and when he, when he came to the gym, the first thing he did was say, I take full responsibility for my loss, I don't blame nobody, I messed up. That is exactly what a trainer needs to hear. I was like, all right, my man, you got it. He goes, I'll do whatever you ask me to do. I said, you got it. And that was it after that. Did he seek you out? Yes. His manager called me and asked me, would I consider it? I said, sure. And everybody was like, oh, you're crazy. He's this, he's that. I said, well, let me find out. Can't judge a book by its cover. Hello. I mean, and then when he came, we hit it off. And everything was gravy after that. Oh, uh, you know, that, okay, this last fight, Yard. Apparently, he did not spar. I don't even know if that's true. Do you know if that's true? Because no one still knows. He doesn't <laughs> spar as much. Okay. But he does a little sparring, and then they believe that the mid work gets them ready for fights. So, you know, hey. Hey, teach their In own. Boxing, you know, all these new trainers today try to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. So they try to come up with something different. But at the end of the day, the wheel is still around. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you guys are going to still have to spar. You're going right. to have to know what it's like to hit get hit and by their, by their the mitts, style. Doing the mitts is choreography. Yeah. It's the best choreography I've seen since Thriller. It's dancing. Yes. It's, you know what I mean? <laughs> dancing with your hands. Exactly. Basically, you're right. So, okay. I mean, so I mean, but Yard came to win. You know, he put up a hell of a fight and um, I take nothing from him at all. I think he will be a champion. You yeah. know what I mean, I it's think he get, if he takes this loss and uses it as a positive instead of a negative, he's going to be all right. Well, you did. It, it, sadly, I remember hearing in the corner, you're taking too much punishment. I'm going to stop this fight. To even utter those words again, what what did he have to do? What do you have to tell him? Just be like, because I know when they I, pushed. I said that, you know what he said to me? He goes, don't stop it. I got him. He's tired now. <laughs> I know, as we're all screaming, use the jab. But yes. you did, so and I he said, knocked him out with I the jab. Said, Go back out there and do what you're supposed to do. Show me something. He says, I got it. And he went on and he did it. He did it. Yes. He did it. Okay, well, enough of him. Now let's go back to you. Congratulations on the International Boxing Hall of Fame as an inductee for 2019. Thank you. You got the call and you cried like a baby. <laughs> I'm adding you. Did you cry like tears of, you were shocked? Did you kind of know maybe? Because you, you kept thinking your name was on the ballot. And finally. You know God is my witness. That day I was driving home from the store. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, normally this time of year they have out who... Who's that, uh, who's right. That so I'm like, ah, the hell with them. And as soon as I got in my driveway, I seen Hall of Fame. I said, right, what? I said he's gonna call me to invite me again. So I got on the phone. I said, what's up, Betty? He goes, hey, I call her. Uh, you know, to tell you something. I said, tell me or ask me. He goes, no, tell you. I said, what do you have to tell me, Ed? He goes, you've been inducted. <laughs> Good guy. That's a huge honor. <laughs> right. So I thought he was calling to say, can you be a guest this year? <laughs> And I would have been like, no, I'm going to be in camp. <laughs> like, unless, unless I'm an inductee. Exactly. Let me see. I remember, 22 years since your last fight. Can you believe that? Damn. Damn. 22 years. And then you're, in, you're finally inducted, 2019, 22 years later. Um, you've had, for people who really don't know him, he's a very well-schooled technician. See, I got it. Excellent, accurate counterpuncher. You never liked to run, but your feet felt like that in the ring. You never got tired, and you were very accurate with your punches. See, I mean, Buddy McGirt, he's a legend in his own right. I want to know, your top pound-for-pound -pound fighters. Today? Yes, today. Today, <laughs> Terrence Crawford, okay. Lomachenko, mm -hmm. and uh, Canelo. Five. Top five. Said five, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna be, you want to know the honest to God truth? 
Yeah. I don't watch boxing like I used to anymore because to me the guys today, they they they're killing the sport with these BS fights. So I really I'm just not into it like I used to be. There was a time when I was a kid, I was always in front of the TV, but now. I don't even know half the guys out there right now. Not a lot of people do, trust me. Okay, I have to ask this question before I go. Canelo, much smaller fighter, but he's coming up in weight. He's a very, very um, aggressive fighter. He will come in, try to attack his body. He doesn't like the body being hit, we know that. Uh, very elusive, very quick. So uh, he has a reach. He's able to use the jab. I mean, this is a really good fight. How do you prepare for Canelo? Well, the thing is this. When in doubt, stick it out. That's number one. Number two, don't let him inside. Nobody likes it to the body. No one does. Right. So you got to make him pay the price, or you got to make him think twice about coming in. Make him miss, make him pay. That hello. There you go. You got it. There you go. That, there's the advice for the day. Make him miss and make him pay, and that's how they're going to win. You got it. <laughs> no, when in doubt, stick it out. And when in doubt, stick it out. See, these are Buddy McGirt-isms. <laughs> there you go. See, you should start a book. All right. Buddy McGirt, we're going to let you go because there is a line coming along. And there's Mr. Bernard Hopkins behind me. All righty. Good to see you again. Thank you Can't wait much. to see you in the ring. All right, All right guys. I'm Cynthia Conti for Ring TV. See you guys at the...